Hello and thanks for joining me, Phil Spencer, for the second in my series on all you need to know about buying a new build home. In fact, Move IQ has loads of free advice available, whether you're buying, renting or selling. So do please make sure that you check out the website for all of that info. The website moveiq.co.uk. So let's kick things off. What is a new build property? That might seem obvious, but there are some important distinctions which bring advantages and disadvantages. So do stay tuned to find out more. Now a new build property is one that's been built or substantially renovated within the past two years and has not been sold during that period. If you're buying a new build where work hasn't started or been completed, it's known as buying off plan. Trying to secure a mortgage on an off plan home can be a little bit more complicated and I'll address the nitty gritty of new build mortgages later in the series. People do often like the idea of being the first to live in a property. And for many, moving into a home that needs no work, no decoration, little maintenance, and comes with brand new carpets and appliances and white goods and things like that is naturally really appealing. With many developments, you can also have a say in some of the fixes and fittings like your tiles and your lighting and, and your white goods, um, particularly if and when you're buying off plan. A new home should be low maintenance, especially when compared to an older one. And it should also come with a 10 year warranty against major defects. And I think an important consideration is that new builds have much better standards of insulation compared to many older properties. It's true that all new builds must now meet the highest energy efficiency rating, and that means lower energy bills. Certainly a major plus in these times of soaring domestic fuel prices. There's no upper chain with a new build, and that is also, I think, a big plus in today's climate. Whether a new build is a good investment, well, that largely depends on the property itself, the build quality, its popularity, and its location. In the rest of this series, I'll be taking you through all of the essentials that I feel that you need to know, that you should know, and the questions that you should be asking. So do please make sure you subscribe to the series. Hit the alert button now, and you'll also then be first to know when we showcase our latest tour of some amazing new developments. There's lots more coming up soon.